Uh, Tennessee into course, Algebra 1, question number 10 on the practice test. Uh, so I've got this. It's a nice rational expression for myself. And it conveniently tells me this, uh, what, to ask me to simplify it when all, in the situations where uh, the expression is actually defined, which means I don't have to find exclusionary parts of it, which is nice. So what I'm going to do is um, look at the top and see if I can factor it out, and I totally can. Uh, this sign here tells me that the number, uh, that the top and the bottom are going to have different signs. So it's going to be x plus and x minus. It also tells me that when I do the factor list, I'm going to be subtracting the factors. So a factor list for 6 would be 1 and 6, and 2 and 3, because I divide 6 by 1 and I get 6, divide 6 by 2 and get 3. I'm looking for a negative 1 here, so 3 minus 2 gives me positive 1, but I'm looking for negative 1, so it's 2 minus 3, and the reason I'm going to write that down is to make sure that when I have my minus, I actually have a minus 3 down here, and a plus 2. For the bottom, I'm going to do um, slide and divide. I'm going to, since I can't, x isn't a 1, uh, there isn't a, a 1 in front of the x squared term, sorry. I'm going to do a slide. So 2 times 6 is 12. So this becomes x squared plus x minus 12. Then I do a factor list for 12. I've got 1 and 12, 2 and 6, and 3 and 4. That's right there. This sign says that the answer is going to be different, so I'm going to be subtracting the factors. If this was a plus, they'd both be the same, and this sign would tell me what they were. They'd either be both negative or both positives. Anyway, I'm looking for a positive 1. 6 and 2 is never going to subtract to give me 1, but 4 and 3 is. I need to do 4 minus 3. See how I have an x minus 3 here and an x minus 2 right there that looks good right but I can't forget don't jump to it just yet because I still have to go back in and divide I did the slide part then I've got to divide by this too this doesn't work uh, you'll get a fraction answer here you'll get negative 3 over 2 so you need to it's almost like you're bump sliding the wrong the divide didn't work so you have to kind of bump slide this 2 back up front so the answer actually ends up looking like this 4 divided by 2 does work x plus 2, 2x minus 3. So this goes back up here because it doesn't make an integer answer. So you get that. Then these two things cancel. So your final answer is x minus 3 over 2x minus 3. So the answer to number 10 is h. Now, I hate doing it that way, you may say to yourself. Well, is there a trick? Of course. If you can do fractions, there is. And as long as your x is not equal to 0, mine's equal to 10. If it is equal to 0, once again, just uh, um, go in and graph something, a linear function. I typed it in exactly like it's shown in the question. It would help if I'd show you both at the same time. I'm going to hit Enter, 7 over 17. Now I just go through and try the answers to see if it gives me 7 over 17. So that doesn't work. No. So let's try this one. There it is. 7 over 17. That was what I was looking for from here, so I can tell that H is the correct answer. And that's it. That's number 10.